Hello, this is Christian. In this video, I want to show you how you can work in PHP and how you connect to a local database system and a remote database system. Okay, so here is uh, PHP Storm, my local project over here. I'm going to show you over here the remote host. This is my FTP, by the way. Okay, I'm connected to my remote server account on Prometheus. And up here is my uh, database. So this database here is uh, I show you here two connections. One is to the local host, which is on my local database system, and this is the remote one here. So on each of these databases uh, systems, you have I have exactly the same copy of the database here. Okay, so um, here I'm going to show you has it five tables, and here as well shows has five tables. If you double click on the local one here, admin, it has this content on it, and the same one above in the cloud as well. Okay, so when you work locally and if you want to transfer your files to the remote one, uh, the things you want to make sure is that you have a same copy of your database system. And I'm just showing you here what it looks like. Okay, so that's that's the remote and that's the uh, local here. Now, when you make connections to these databases, there are a couple of ways to do that. So before I go any further, I want to go and just explain some concepts really quick first. So here we have the local computer and you have a remote computer, right, or remote server. And each of them has its own copy of the MySQL database systems. And then in the local machine, the IP address is always it's going to be 127.0.0.1, um, probably too many zeros. And then the um, or the domain will be just localhost. Okay, so this is also the host for uh, MySQL. On the remote side, it will be something similar, except we have a, a um, IP address that will be unique to that domain. So we usually use the domain name. It might be different based on how it's set up, but usually it's the same domain name. And then it also has a localhost too if you are running files locally on the server. Okay, so um, that's the setup. So here's the scenario number one. If I run my PHP file locally, everything's local only in my computer. I do not rely on the internet, right? So I'm out, I'm siloed into the system. Then this is how you usually set up. In your PHP file, you have a host, which is always going to be local host. The user is usually root. Um, if you're just working on your own, of course, it could be anything how you set up. But let's assume it's root. And the password for the root is usually I put uh, this no password, but you can change it again. And then the DB is called demo DB. Okay, so I'm connecting locally to the local machine here. And so when I run this on the browser, the URL is going to be localhost, and then usually you have a port number, and then the file name here. Okay, so that's scenario number one. The next scenario is exactly the same as you have here, but now you are running on the, on the remote server. Okay, so everything is exactly the same. Notice the host is also localhost. But this only works if you're running on this machine remotely from here. So on your browser, when you run this file, you would have to go to the host, which is the domain name, and then the file name to run that, right? So you can work locally. Once you upload your files to the remote server, it's exactly the same. The things you might change are uh, your username and the password, okay? If you change your database name, that too. But the, the connection here is the um, the host and the username. They have to be the ones that are, are created inside this remote server here. Okay, so that's the remote version of it. Now, the next scenario is you have a local uh, uh, PHP file. You run locally. Notice it says local host, one, two, three, index PHP. You run locally, but you are using the database on the remote server. So the host is the domain.com over here, and the user in DB has to be the information that is stored inside this database. Okay, I'm running my files locally, but when I do it a database connection, I'm gonna go over the cloud, right, over the internet to the remote server and request the data back in here. And in this case, in our case, we have to use UCP VPN because that's how our, our gateway is set up. Okay, so that's that. And then uh, that's how you, it works. You can run locally, but then the uh, DB is on, on the remote. The next scenario is kind of similar. You run on the remote server, right? The URL is the domain name as just like above. 
but the connection is you're using the domain name as opposed to localhost. So when you run on the remote server, it's behaving the same thing. Even though it's on the same machine, because you're using a host name of domain.com, what's happened behind the scene is that it has to go through the internet and it comes back to the domain to access the database. So if this server does not have internet access, and if you're trying to use this domain name uh, uh, route, it's not going to work. Okay, so in that case, you want to use the local host. So I hope this one here kind of clarifies how things are laid out in the program. So let's go back to the um, PHP here. And so here is my local version of it. So I have just some demo accounts here. I put here L host, L user, L password for the local only. And this is the R for remote. So I have a, a remote host and then the user and password here. And then the database is exactly the same on both servers, so I just use the same name, okay? If you use it differently, just make sure you log and connect to the correct one. And then in my index file, this is locally, by the way. So I have here, I just put a little message here, and I do my DB connection here. Notice I'm using, I'm, in this example, I'm using the R host, which is the remote, but I could use the L host. Okay, let me do the R host first. So that means I'm doing this scenario number two. Uh, actually, no, number three, I showed you here. I'm doing this one here, okay? I run, oops, I'm running local files, but I'm connecting to the remote. So this is the one that uh, some students are actually doing now because um, uh, they can, and also they want to access the remote database system, so they don't have to do it locally. Okay, if that's the case, then this is how it's set up, right? I'm connecting to a remote host and user and so forth. Um, and I do a little connection here, do a query from the administrator database system. So um, this is the remote one. So this is uh, over here. Okay, I'm gonna get my first name and then display it down here, uh, down here in the, in the message, okay? So I'm gonna run this on the browser. And because it's local only, I'm gonna click this browser icon here and it should load and it tells me that I have successfully connected to that database and so on. Okay, just to show that it is true, I'm going to go and change my name to something else. All right, so you can see that it actually coming from the remote and not the local one. So I'm going to go here again. This is the remote one. Double click again just to show that and I can add the data live here. Okay, it's so going to put here, um, put here Kelly, for example. Okay, so I say that now it's actually, uh, let me just Make sure that didn't let me do it. Um, let's see. I have to do something. I know that. And maybe this one here, submit. Okay. All right. So the changes have been made already. And let me go back to the browser and see if now I'm refreshing. Okay. You see that now it changes to that because it's on the remote. And you can also test by going to the remote PHP by admin and going to your account and see that it's also changed to that name. Okay, so I'm using remote one. And and so that's what you need in order for this to work. Okay, and also, of course, I need to have a VPN. If you have no VPN, it's not going to work. And if I change to the local one, then you just use the local one, right? So I change that to the L, and then everything is local now. Okay, if it's local, then it should be my name. Let me save that and go back to the browser and um, you see that I changed back to my name. Okay, so I hope this one kind of uh, helps you understand the differences between the two. Now for the remote one, uh, it's the same way. So if you have, you know, FTP open directly within PHP Storm, you can update these data files uh, directly on PHP Storm and you will only see that the um, the file has a Prometheus in front of it, whatever server you're using, and then the file name. Now this file is not the same as my index one. Right? Notice I made some changes in here, but my remote is different. So even though I have the same file in here, when I open this, it's actually only on the remote side. If you want an exact copy on either either side, you have to drag it down or download to this side, and then if you want it on the other side, again, drag it and put it on the other side, okay? So here, on the remote side, I'm using the remote one. So um, I, I can't just go here and do that. If I do that, it's not gonna work, okay? Because it's, it's only local. So let me go back to this side and I'm gonna go to the remote one. 
and go to my account and then so here I'm using a remote as you can see it says Kelly because I'm using a remote one okay so just to show you that it does work and of course I can't do local because if I do local um, it, it would still be the same okay because local if you remember the local has a uses well you won't because I'm using a root and things like that okay but I'm saying that the host could could say local host uh, for for the remote one it would still be fine okay so um yeah let me know if you have still have any questions so just uh, study this diagram really uh, well so you understand what um, what the difference is between these uh, four scenarios okay and I will share this link as well so you can see this diagram all right any questions please let me know